Hi to you all and welcome to the Proper News Network. There's hardly any news about this in the mainstream. You have to ask why. Is it because this subject doesn't fit the agenda of the powers that be? Because we know that they are not shy in bashing Corbyn and the Labour Party at every opportunity they get. This article is from a site called Your Brexit. I'll leave a link. MP Naz Shah releases statement after retweeting abused girls should shut their mouths. The disgraced Labour MP Naz Shah has released a statement for a spokesperson after retweeting a spot from a satirical Owen Jones Twitter account saying that abused girls should shut their mouths. We reported this on Monday evening. It is worth pointing out that the mainstream media only picked up on it around 24 hours later. Another win for your Brexit. Just to refresh your memory, the full retweet read RT at Owen underscore Jones 84 at Arik Chowdhury at Nez Shah BFD Exactly, Arik, those abused girls in Rotherham and elsewhere just need to shut their mouths for the good of hashtag diversity. To try and address the growing calls for Shah to resign or be punished for this error of judgment, her spokesperson said, This is a genuine accident eight days ago that was rectified within minutes. To suggest otherwise is absolute nonsense. Her record speaks for itself. Naz has been working for over 20 years on the issues of child abuse, violence against women and grooming, which is well documented. She has and will continue to advocate for all victims and work towards eradicating this evil from society. Her record certainly does speak for itself, as this record includes another incredible tweet where she suggested that the entire country of Israel to be uprooted and dumped in the middle of the USA. That one certainly wasn't fat fingers or some kind of innocent mistake. Keep an eye on your Brexit later today as we are putting together a petition for Ms Shah to be removed from her position as a Member of Parliament. I think we can dismiss the fat fingers excuse because she not only retweeted the post, she also liked the post. As you all know, retweeting and liking are two separate actions on Twitter. I find this a very unlikely accidental occurrence. Anyway, thanks for watching the Proper News Network. Leave a comment, like and subscribe if you see fit and I'll be back soon.